there. I just wanted to show you this quickly. Um, it's how to remove and refit your cylinder. It's very easy. Um, this is a BSA Scorpion SE, uh, very similar to the Ultra, it's just a bit shorter. Um, and the old Scorpion and old Ultra are identical apart from this little bit here. Um, first thing you want to do is just dry fire your rifle until it's completely empty. This one is empty and I've confirmed that by just loosening off the gauge. No air is coming out. I'm happy that that's empty. Right, um, now, um, this one, let's give it a go. There we go. It's pretty much hand tight. You just literally unscrew the cylinder. It's unscrewing over there. And that just should come right off. There we go. That comes off. Um, and that's your action. Um, if you want to, um, you can remove the full probe, um, which is something I've discussed in the gauge videos, but I'll do this one anyway. Just turn turn that about a quarter turn in, which then loosens up the little locking ring inside there. Use a little pointy tool. should be free to turn. Just undo that. should just turn out. It's not the best tool for the job, but any pokey tool will do. That's the lock ring removed, and now you should. Well, this one's just going to do it by hand, or you could use a little tool in the full port and just unscrew that. It's quite a long thread on it. There you go, um, and you screw that back in. It should be fairly loose, then you should feel a bit of resistance, and that's the O-ring starting to um, grip into the cylinder. Tighten it up a bit, and then put the lock ring. Oops. Sorry, trying to do this leaning over chairs is not ideal. Right, just make sure that the cap can screw on. If it, if there's a gap when you've screwed the cap on, for example there, um, it means the valve hasn't been screwed in enough and needs to be screwed in a bit more, in which case you would just tighten that, so another turn, tighten the lock ring up another turn, and then try it again until it, you know, until it can fit on without any gaps. Um, right, once you've done that, Make sure there's no dust or dirt on there, and literally just put the cylinder back on and screw it on. You don't need to tighten it stupidly tight, just hand tight's good enough so there's no gap. You can just tighten it up like that. When you, when you fill it with air, it will lock it all in place. And before you do that, you'll notice that this fill valve's sticking off to the side slightly. So if you want to um, point, angle it down, just make sure the lock ring is loose, otherwise you won't be able to undo it. Um, doing this blind. Right, I need to slacken that off. Fiddle that to where you want it. It's normally facing down. Um, lift the lock ring back up. Right, um, and then fill it up, and you should be good to go. That's all, thank you.